Wouldn't it be useful if there was one common RESTful API to all EMC storage platforms? This is what EMC Project Orion was designed to do as a prototype. As you can see here, this is the web-based RESTful interface. You can see that in the prototype, there's integration for VMAX, VNX, VNXE, Isilon, and VPlex. If we click on VPlex on the VMAX example, we can see here, for example, you can navigate down, see all of the available pools that are presented uh, by the VMAX array, what LUNs are available in the pool. Uh, you can see that within those uh, LUNs, you can actually manage, provision, delete, extend. Um, if we click on the VNX, um, you can see, for example, uh, what arrays are available, and then similar, you can uh, provision against them. Now, obviously, uh, what we're doing here is we're doing this via the, uh, the UI, but this is a RESTful uh, interface. It can be done completely programmatically, um, and uh, the API is consistent across all of these different storage platforms. So we've unified the way that you can programmatically uh, interface with uh, all of these EMC storage platforms, which is uh, a great simplifying concept. Um, so uh, if we go here, for example, on this VNXE, again, you can see similarly what are the pools that are available. Uh, there's a performance pool, a capacity pool. Uh, what are in there, you'll notice, again, you can create devices. You can extend them and uh, present them to hosts. And uh, you can go in and you can see an individual one where you can expand it, you can unmap it, you can create remote replicas, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The other thing also is that uh, Project Orion will generate code snippets in .NET, in Java, and in PowerShell. So you can see um, all of these things and, and um, be able to customize them yourself, which is, which is cool. Now, let's look at an example of what you could do with this. Because um, what this does is it simplifies the process of creating northbound uh, workflows across all of EMC's platforms. So if you build the Project Orion API, an example of how you could do it is you could build a single EMC storage plugin uh, for VMware vCenter Orchestrator uh, that could be used to automate all sorts of workflows from the smallest arrays that EMC offers all the way to the largest. Um, and uh, do an example, for example, like end-to-end -end provisioning. This is something that we've actually created here in, uh, in the Project Orion prototype. So if you take a look here, you can see uh, we can create a workflow. This workflow uh, is actually to create a, a full-blown tenant. And you'll notice that it's got all of the components required to uh, create a catalog or provider VDC. But components of this workflow include all the underlying storage provisioning components. Um, this is a simple and easy way for us to create a vCenter Orchestrator uh, workflow. And you can see, for example, here, this workflow is going to go through and actually create that individual tenant within uh, uh, vCloud Director. Um, but uh, we've actually now written it once, and it would, be, uh, it would work on a VNXE, a VNX, a VMAX, an Isilon array, a VPlex. Uh, so kind of this common API across all of the EMC underlying storage platforms. So uh, you can see here that at the end of this process, we've created uh, through the VC, uh, vCenter Orchestrator workflow, the provider VDCs, a couple of organizational VDCs. So we've created multi-tenant uh, multi-tenancy on top of all the storage platforms. And by the way, someone wrote the Isilon plugin, and then we tested it, and the exact same thing worked on Isilon with no changes to the Northbound API. The other uh, Northbound uh, API implementation that we developed as part of the uh, uh, proof of concept of Project Orion was um, uh, System Center uh, orchestration. So um, if you go and you take a look, uh, what we're able to do here is we're able to create that same sort of process of full-blown uh, orchestration and workflows, not just for one EMC platform, but for all of them embedded directly into uh, System Center uh, where we're saying, okay, let's go and let's create some devices as part of this workflow. And again, this exact same uh, code uh, would apply to a VNXE, a VNX, a VMAX, an Isilon array, a VPlex target. So again, common API uh, prototype across all EMC storage platforms. So what's next uh, for Project Orion? Number one, release it to the wild. Get lots of input from uh, EMCers and partners and customers. Uh, obviously, uh, it needs to be... Uh, uh, turned into a production product for it to have real value um, with support and all of those sorts of things. Uh, extending the prototype to include NAS uh, snapshot and clone functionality is also important. But um, just wanted to uh, walk people through this. I think it's a very, very cool idea.
Thanks very much for watching.